Update from the Bureau Chief. Now, I do not respect NPCs. I do not respect them one bit. But I do say that I do respect, and I don't say it very lightly, there are not very many people that I hold some respect for. I hold some respect for this Miss Whitney Webb. Now, she is against me. She is against this Bureau. She in this podcast did just say that not only is all of the Washington, D.C. corrupt, that there's not only some bad apples in the baffle barrel of the federal agencies and bureaus and departments of government, she goes on to say that the entire whole barrel is rotten. Throw the barrel out. Don't rely on the barrel. Get independent. Get away from it all. Go be self-sufficient as much as possible. Grow your own food. That kind of thought. Well, though I do not, though I do oppose her, and though she does appeal oppose me and brutalize this bureau, I can say that I have some kind of respect that is for that young lady. She is smart and she is intelligent. She has soul. And she has capacity to stand up and be bold and not care nor fear the consequences, the threats that we at this bureau or the cocaine import agency or any other agencies of governments, assassins, care about. She doesn't care about our threats. Well, that is like kryptonite to Superman. That is like Ben Kenobi telling Darth Vader, if you strike me down, I can only rise up more powerful and stronger. She's talking about people getting mad, getting Americans need to get mad, angry. Well, they're not going to do it. I am here to tell you they are placated. They got their Netflix. They got their... K through 12 brainwashing, they worship the state, they worship government, government can do no wrong, they worship their Democrats and their Republicans, doesn't matter which, when they just go soft when their man is in the White House, they are dumb, dumb dummies, everywhere they are dummies, and you people try to wake them up, but you cannot do it, they will not take truth, they do not love truth, they love a lie, they love a lie, they embrace a lie, they support a lie, they watch their CNN, the NPR, the MSNBC, and on and on. And they love this bureau. They love me. They love this bureau. They love the Green New Deal, which I am symbolic of. As for Miss A.L.C. behind me, my running mate. Anyway, you people, have fun trying to wake up your normies. Have fun trying to wake up your NPCs. They are dumb, dumb dummies, and they are so brainwashed and brain dead, you aren't going to save anything. You aren't going to throw out a rotten apple barrel out of Washington, D.C. We will continue to move forward and advance and control and enslave you, move you into the digital where we will censor you to oblivion and impede you from eating dandelions. Hope you notice in my logo behind me, the donkey, the unit donkey, unit donkey elephant, establishment Republicans and Democrats, that donkey is stepping on a dandelion, your food source, for when we wipe out all the transportation and when we wipe out your grocery stores and your food, we will wipe out in as much as we could all of your dandelion food alternatives and any edible weed, anything edible in the landscape. So you dummies, have fun. Have fun trying to wake up your normies. They will hate you for trying to wake them up. They will despise you. They will ridicule you. They will resent you. They will call you negative. They will call you a doom and gloomer, a conspiracy theorist. And we will relish here at this bureau to watch it all happen. Even I can put out my press conferences with the GP, with the AI of this bureau, the truth serum AI, and there's nothing. Even my press conference has been online for a month now, and there's not even been a spark of any kind of understanding from the NPCs. They're not going to tune into P-SPAN. They're not going to see me disclosing, nor the AI disclosing the truth of things as they really are. The NPCs are just blind and dumb. You're not going to change them. You're not going to change them. But ALC, ALC behind me here, and these two renegade boys over to my right, they're going to help me change. They're going to help, because we are going to fast-track this new world order for 2024. We even have it by the end of December 2024. A month in the White House, and we will have you fresh Agenda 2024, right into 2025. Tyranny as you have never understood it. Hunger Games on steroids. All right, once again, bye-bye. And to all those NPCs, you are a bunch of dummies. But I do respect Miss Whitney Webb. She is a smart one. Oh, how I would love to recruit her into this bureau.